all right. I am Tahuti Kepura Iteru. Now, this video right here, I want to break down the deep occult science of Merlin. This right here will be the deepest video I have ever made, right? Now, first things first, I want to, I want to give, I want to say our shade to the master teachers, Bobby Hemmett and Dr. Dalba Blair, right, for their research into Merlin, because without their research into Merlin, the thought that sparked this video wouldn't even be possible. So I want, I want to say our oh, shade to those two master teachers right there, right? So let's get straight into this. So now, what is melanin? Melanin is the cosmic amino acids of creation. Melanin is the essence of creation itself. Melanin is the alien, right? And the white man studies this alien every day, right? Now, black people, we don't have melanin. We are melanin that got trapped and condensed into a human form and now expresses itself in a human form, right? Melanin is the building blocks of creation itself. If creation was a chemical process, melanin would be would be the environment that it even allows the chemical creation or the chemical reaction to take place. It would be the catalytic converter that speeds up and regulates the reaction. Melanin is dormant creation. Creation would not even take place without melanin. Melanin is melanin is the creation process. Melanin is not the product of the Big Bang. Melanin is not the Big Bang, but melanin is what even allowed the Big Bang to take place, right? So now, beings with melanin are essentially creation beings that can create anything, can become anything, but they themselves were not actually created, but because they are creation itself, so they, so they have no start date or an end date, they just existed, right? So again, going back to this again, melanin is the building block of creation itself. There is no creation without melanin, right? Now, this is why the sperm cells and egg cells are coated with melanin. It's not for, it's not for protection as previously thought. The reason why the sperm and egg cells are coated with melanin is because that creation process and that union between the egg and the sperm would not even take place without melanin. Melanin is the reason why that, that process is even possible, right? Right, so again, and the melanin in the body appears to be black as black is a state of dormant creation, right? A state of dormant creation. Now, if melanin was so great, did the ancients talk about melanin? Now, at first, when I was doing research, research into this, I thought that melanin would have was the god Amun, right? But Amun is one of the eight... Agda'ad, and in Egypt you have this Agda'ad, and the Agda'ad, which also includes the waters of Nu, the Agda'ad are frog and serpent beings, right? So the male deities, so-called so -called male deities, are the frogs, and the females are the serpents, right? The sort of female counterparts are the serpents. And the Egyptians saw that the frogs would spontaneously generate from the mud, and the, and the serpent sheds its, and, and again the serpent sheds its skin, which is a symbol of immortality, and we went over this. So the frog represents the metamorphosis, but in terms of energy, the frog represents the potential energy to become anything, right? The potential energy to become anything, right? <clears throat> so the Agda'ad is the potential energy of the waters of Nu. And in the, and, and in the mythology, so, it, so in the mythology it says that these, these the Agda'ad, when they came together, it was they, they were chaotic, right? And produced a mound, and from that mound, from that mound, birthed Ra, right? But the Agda'ad have no record after that event, so it says that the, this mound was symbolic of the end and the death of the Agda'ad. So again, so going, going back to this, the god Amun is not actually Melanin because Amun was in existence before Ra, and as we've mentioned this before, Ra is the soul. So how can the soul, how can Melanin be in existence before the soul, right? So Amun is not Melanin. But it turns out, so when I went into this, it turns out the Egyptians never actually wrote about melanin. 
not because they never knew about it, but because the knowledge of it corresponded to their hidden occult practice of alchemy, right? For example, all the people that were embalmed were black, right? All the people that were embalmed were black. There were no white people that were embalmed, right? So there, there were no white mummies. So the priests that were embalming the bodies, they would have to have had an understanding of melanated skin, right? And because melanated skin is different to non-melanated skin, so they would have had to have had an understanding of melanated skin. So the formula in which they used to be able to preserve the bodies, the embalming formula to preserve the bodies and the mummies and preserve the bodies, right? They would have would have corresponded to their knowledge of melanin as well. So they would have kept the knowledge of melanin, their knowledge of melanin hidden, along with their knowledge of alchemy, right? Also, what Bobby Hemmings spoke about how was melanin used to be called occultum, the hidden substance, right? The hidden substance. Also, so now the soul and melanin go hand in hand. Melanin is the essence of the soul. The soul is the particle of the creator, right? And melanin is how the soul creates. So the soul is like the mind of God and melanin is what brings the thoughts into existence. Melanin is the fabric of creation itself, right? Now we're going deep into it now. Melanin is the cosmic brain, the synapses of the universe, and the synapses is the space between the neurons in the brain, and the synapses, the synapses is how the nerve impulses travel, it's how they travel, right? So the melanin, so melanin being the cosmic synapses, is how the universe, is how the ideas or the thoughts of the mind of God are um, then manifested into the universe, right? But melanin itself is an alien entity. Melanin is an alien entity that got trapped into a physical body. So you are not a physical body with melanin, you are melanin lugging around a physical body, right? So how this works is that the soul is the extraterrestrial. And what the soul does, the soul carries melanin. It carries around with it melanin. It carries with it melanin. And this is how it conducts its thoughts, right? So the melanin is like the body of the soul. But the, a body, in a scientific term, a body doesn't have to be a physical body. A body, in a scientific term, can just be a container or something. So you have the body of a cell, which contains the nucleus, right? It's not a physical body, but it's just a body. So a body is just a container really, that's what a body is. So when in the last video when I spoke about this doll body, the doll body is melanin. Meaning that the doll, it's doll in the sense that it's not alive, but it's a body in the sense that it contains the ISBE, which was the soul, right? So now, so this is where the alien comes from. The alien is when the melanin adapts to that specific environment or to that specific atmosphere, right? And it takes on a form conducive to that specific planet. So, yeah, so, that's, so that's how it works. Right? It takes on a form specific to that specific planet. Again, but we'll go, we'll go further into this, right? Let me see. Yeah, we'll go further into this, right? Also, melanin is also the memories of the soul, right? As when the melanin takes on the form, the alien form of that specific planet, it will remember this form. Right? And store and store that as information. So therefore, black people, before we were human, we were an alien entity. The human is a new being. That's why a lot of black people they resonate with this alien stuff and this alien information because prior to this human form, this human form that we're in right now, you was once an alien entity. You see what I'm saying? But this human being is new. So now going back to what I was saying about the forms right here, this is what the cartoon Ben 10 was talking about. As in Ben 10, he has this Omnitrix. <clears throat> yes, it's Omnitrix, right? Which is the type of watch that attaches itself to the skin. Now, the Omnitrix stores the DNA. <clears throat> now, the Omnitrix stores the DNA and is synced with the DNA of Ben. So, it's talking about how... But again, this Omnitrix is an archetype of melanin. And it's talking about how black people's melanin, melanin, right, contains the DNA of all extraterrestrial beings and that melanin contains the gen the genetic information of all these beings, right? So all these, all these alien beings. So in other words, black people contain the cosmic codex for all alien beings within their DNA, right? So black people can take on the form of any extraterrestrial 
as melanin as melanin is the alien but these alien forms are the physical bodies so to speak that melanin had to accumulate to be able to live or exist on those planes and on that specific planet right so though but, but again those aliens that you see those alien forms are still made up of the same essence that is melanin and the soul that's all it is that's all they are melanin and their soul and that form is the alien form that they took on based on the melanin being com becoming conducive to that specific planet so that's the alien right there so that's right there we're breaking the mystery right there so that's the whole alien thing right there so we are not <clears throat> so we are not the body we we are melanin an alien entity that got trapped into a physical body right and got reduced to mere skin pigmentation it got reduced to this but it's really an alien entity right so now we're gonna go deeper now now we're going deeper into this now so 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 now they say they say that aliens built the pyramids but where did these aliens go these aliens are still here but they got trapped into the epidermis layers of your skin that we now know as melanin so that's the alien right there so junk dna right so this so again the junk dna is melanin right here so the sleeping gods that we talk about the sleeping gods the sleeping gods is none other than dormant melanin right dormant melanin so now we're getting into this right here so now I want to break down how the reason why we can't build pyramids today. I want to break this down. The reason why we can't build pyramids today is because of one simple thing. One thing that you thought would actually aid you, but it's actually a detriment to you. And that one thing is the human brain. Now we're going into this right here. It's the human brain. Now the brain keeps the mind locked down and it will only deem things possible to manifest based on what it can actually rationalize and fit into a logical equation. The brain, a good, a good analogy of this is what I came up with, right? The brain is, is essentially the child's playpen. It's a child's playpen with a limited, right? So when you imagine a child's playpen, right? A child's playpen, so it's with a limited amount of room to build things, right? Li and, and limited resources to build with, right? Which also include, and this playpen also includes cages and guards watching and enforcing so that way you cannot build too vast or too big right and those guards are fears and phobias right there they're fears and phobias so simply put simply put right here the brain is the enemy of the gods right the enemy of the gods the human brain right there now so again but the reason why that is is because the reason why i brought that down on the human brain as the reason why for us not being being able to build pyramids today can't just because a lot of people say the reason why it's the language we're using it can't just be the language we're using right it can't just be the language as so it can't just be the language and that we had the same biology as we do today as we have the same brain as the white man we have the same brain as him but the only difference is our level of melanin right but our melanin only gives us a little bit of an edge over him so he can still, so in the 100 meters, he can still run 10 seconds, but the melanated man can run a 9.5 second, right? So it's only a little bit edge over him. He can still run the 10 seconds, right? So, but the pyramids, in comparison to his structures, it's a huge monumental gap. It's not just this gap. It's a huge gap. So the beings that built those pyramids couldn't have just been simply intelligent Africans, it couldn't have just been that. They had to, they must have had a completely different neurological system. Their brain had to have been different. The nervous system was different, right? The way they were processing information was just different. That's the only explanation right now, right? That's the only explanation. So now, so now going back to this now, the reason why we were able to build pyramids goes back to what modern science calls the evolution of the human brain. And they talk about the different layers of the brain and what they talk about the evolution of the brain is that each the brain started off with the base brain and each brain got stacked on top. This is what this is what they teach in this evolution stuff, right? With this evolution of the brain. They were stacked on top of each other. And the lowest part of the brain is the reptilian brain, right? Which they call, call the primitive brain or whatever, the primitive brain. But the reason why we were able to build pyramids now 
was because our brains were not fully developed, right? So, <clears throat> what happened was that we were using the melanin as a medium for our thoughts, right? We were using the melanin. So, rather than use the brain, we were using that the melanin was able to bypass the brain. And because the brain was less developed, the melanin could now bring into manifestation things that the brain could not rationally conceive to be possible. Right? So now we're going deep into this now. We're breaking the mysteries right here. So now this is where your whole supreme mathematics comes from. They say God has supreme mathematics and the pyramids were built using supreme mathematics. But melanin is the supreme mathematics. Right? I saw melanin to convert sunlight into electrical energy. Just imagine the type of mathematics that is going through to do that process right there. Right? <clears throat> and also, if melanin is able to adapt to specific environments and take on the form conducive to that specific environment, right? Imagine the type of mathematics that it is processing just to take on that transformation. So, melanin is the cosmic computer that perf performs advanced calculations. Right? Melanin is this cosmic computer right there. So now going back to this. Going back to this right here. <clears throat> at the time of the pyramids, all we had was the reptilian brain. That's all we had. This is where your whole reptilian concept comes from, right? They say upright walking serpents used to walk the earth. But the upright walking is the spine. And the reptilian is that lower brainstem. That's the reptilian right there. That lower brain. So what happened was this. All we had was the reptilian brain, which and the reptilian brain. The white man speaks about how the reptilian brain controls the basic functionality functionalities of your physical body, but the rest of our brain was melanin. So the logical reasoning factor was melanin. So all we had was the reptilian brain, the lower brain stem right there. Then the rest of the brain, the rest of the brain right there, the rest of the brain was melanin. See, that's the key right there. The rest of the brain was melanin. And what happened over time now, other brains started to form. Other brains now started to form. So we had the, the reptilian brain right there. And then other brains started to form. The, the, then came the limbic system. Then over that, the neocortex, the prefrontal cortex. All these different brains started to form now. And now, melanin became got trapped inside the brain, which we now call neuromelanin. So again, we're breaking the mysteries right here. But now I want to go deep into this right here. But the, now the closest replica to melanin is crystal. Crystal is the closest replica to melanin on earth, right? But the white man uses a quartz crystal oscillator in his computers, cell phones, and radios. And that's that. And that quartz crystal oscillator, this oscillator, is the basis for his technology to even work, right? But the crystal doesn't supply the energy. The crystal creates the framework for the energy to be able to communicate with itself. <clears throat> right to communicate with itself but neuromelanin is this quartz crystal so so what am i saying here what i'm saying here is that without neuromelanin in your brain your brain could not even function without neuromelanin your brain wouldn't even function that's the key right that's the key to this so previously for melanin aids in the conducting of nerve impulses but it's not even that it's deeper than that melanin doesn't just aid in the conducting of nerve impulses melanin is the conduction itself so that conduction that's the melanin right so without neuromelanin in your brain your brain wouldn't even be able to send the signals the nerve impulses to be even able to communicate with itself so that's deep right there right that's deep so now <clears throat> So the basis of your brain is melanin. Neuromelanin is the foundation of your brain, right? So the first brain was melanin. The first brain was melanin. So this is why when you go on Wikipedia now, they say that the function of neuromelanin is unknown. They don't know. But yet this is the same man now that would, talk, that would try and teach you about black holes and he has all this knowledge about black holes, but yet... He doesn't know what neuromelanin does. He knows what it does. But he can't tell you what it does. He can't say what it does. Because if he tells you what neuromelanin does now, based on what I have just said, the whole evolution theory goes straight in the bin. It goes straight in the bin because it doesn't add up. Right? So, 
the reason why the ancients were so advanced is because they had less developed brains, right? Thus, they were thinking directly from the melanin. They were using the melanin as a type of supercomputer, right? And they were not limited to the logical, rational constraints of the neocortex, prefrontal cortex right there. You see what I'm saying? They weren't limited by that. So, so now this is where the function of the pyramid comes in. Uh, I originally thought that. So I've done, again, I've done a video on the pyramids. Most of you have seen that by now. But in that video, I originally thought that the pyramids was a tool to enhance your melanin. But you are melanin. Melanin, right? You are melanin. So the pyramid was actually a megalithic cosmic defibrillator, right? Defibrillator, right? That would electrically charge and wake up those sleeping guards as the sleeping guards is dormant melanin. So that's the key right there. So again, so the ancients knew that the melanin, it, the melanin itself was God. The melanin itself, right? And they knew of ways and practices to tap back into that God. And some of the practices, again, was light deprivation and fasting and things of that nature. Right? So they knew of ways to tap into this dormant God, which was melanin. Right? But now, here's where it gets even deeper. Right? As they knew that the brain was the enemy. And that was keeping us locked down. So this is why you see Akhenaten now and his family. They saw, they saw Akhenaten and his family as divinity. Because they had the elongated heads. So in other words, they have some type of deformity or whatever in the head or deformity in the brain. But the brain is keeping their God self locked down. So now a deformity in the brain or a condition that makes the brain not operate in its conventional way would be considered divinity. Now you see where we're going with this right here. You see what I'm saying? So this is where autism comes in. They say that autism is a mental disorder, right? So the brain is not operating in the logical, rational way, which it should be, right? So in other words, this person now has the capacity to offset their brain's reasoning and offset their brain's reasoning, right? And tap straight into the God, which is man, right? So in ancient times, so there would have been autistic people in ancient times, right? But they knew what it was and they could use these people for ritual purposes and channeling to create scripts and artworks, right? That could be used to allow other people to tap into that inner God as well, right? <clears throat> so now, so now going back to the so-called evolution of the so-called evolution of the brain, right? As the brain got more developed, the brain began to adapt and become more efficient at completing, at completing mundane tasks. So therefore the melanin got pushed further away and we became more human and more condensed, right? So the white man tricked us when he said that the development of the brain was an advancement and that it was an evolution, meaning that it changed for the better, but it is really a detriment and it's actually primitive, right? It's primitive because the human brain is not actually advanced. It's just more efficient at doing mundane things, right? So, so this is why the white man will never be able to build pyramids because of the based on the human brain that he has and also his lack of melanin. So he can't, because of his lack of melanin, he can't use his melanin to be able to bypass the human brain and tap into the melanin as a cosmic computer to be able to manifest higher concepts. He can't do it. All he has is human brain, so he will never be able to build pyramids his brain won't allow him his brain won't allow him to do it because he knows how the pyramids were built right but he has no way to really replicate it. he has no way to even move a stone of that size because his logical rational brain won't allow it it won't allow it it won't he won't allow it to be possible you see what i'm saying that's what happened right there it won't allow him so the white man himself with his human brain makes him primitive right as a lot of the technology that the white man that the white man builds is not actually advanced, but it's actually efficient. So it's not advanced, but it's efficient, right? That makes his life run more smoothly, but it doesn't actually enhance it, right? As cars, for example, cars can get you to places faster, but the more people that have cars means the more cars on the roads, thus the more traffic and congestion during peak times. 
thus now walking actually becomes the faster option so you built the car to go faster than walking but then when you have more cars on the road now there's more traffic and more congestion thus now walking which you originally built the car you know what i'm saying to improve now becomes the faster option so again you can see the predicament right there you can see it right there you see what i'm saying so again it's not advanced it's just efficient right so so in closing right so this right that right there is the end of the video right here so in closing melanin is the alien right that got trapped into a physical vessel but this melanin was once able to bypass the brain as a means of calculating and solving problems right but then as the brain became more developed right melanin got locked down and could no longer be utilized and now was subject to the brain and got reduced to mere skin pigmentation you see and became dormant so this right here is the story of the fall of gods into men all right so again so that is the end of the video right here so <clears throat> i hope you enjoyed the video I hope you took some good information from this. Alright, black people. Thanks for watching.